Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the Striking Anvil build. What I've got here is the base of the Striking Anvil. That's the one with four holes in it. Three round ones and a square one. And I'm going to weld the, the legs on it. And I think the, the two at this end I'm going to put on a 45 degree angle. And they're cut on a 10 degree. So if I put them on a 45, it'll be leaning this way and this way. And kind of lay that leg out just right to where it's at its maximum footprint. So it doesn't tip over so easy. And yet, pretty straight up and down so it doesn't bounce so bad. So I'm going to get this and set it in there. And just tack it. And I'll tack these two in place, spin it around, and this in here will just be straight on a 90 straight out the other way. I've got a little tri-square set so that I can put it on against the side here. What I'm doing is uh, putting it over the hole on that 45 degree angle, and I'm putting this corner of the leg and the other corner of the leg right flush with the side of that block. Okay, what have I not done? I have not turned on the welder. Position it all over again here. Okay, I'll spin this around and you can kind of see, whoa, maybe I'll attack that in here. Now I'll see if I can spin it around it, spin around and you can see how it's leaning. See there between the two legs. This one I want straight on a 90, so I'll set this tri-square back up to 90.
and that will seal it so when we fill it with sand we won't have any leakages there. I'll bring you back when we flip it over, stand it on its feet, and uh, get that taken care of. Okay, there's a close-up. I'll spin it around. It's been welded all around all the, the legs. Now what I want to do, I'll back you back up. Let's start raining today. That suits me. Let's get them tacked in place, then weld all the way around them. Sunday, a week later, this is the third weekend I've worked on this project and I've got like, I think an hour and a half total involved in it. So uh, let's finish it up today. It is, I don't have a watch on so I don't know. Uh, let's get started. This is a funnel that you use to fill one of those uh, sandblasters with and I made the holes so that that would fit in it. And I've got a bucket right here of old sandblasting sand. So let's uh, fill it up. Some people use oil with it or transmission fluid. What in the heck is all this stuff in here? Okay. This stuff is pretty dry, so I don't think I have to worry too much about uh, moisture. Well, I'll 
clean up this mess, and then uh, we'll take it in in the shop, and I'll show you the top plate and where I've done to it, and then we'll get it welded on top of there. Well, since it's been a couple weeks, let's go over some of the stuff. It's 12 inches by 5 inches. This is your top striking plate. The bottom is 6 by 13. This hole is uh, 1 inch square. You will have to true it up to get it to, to fit perfect. It is as burnt, basically. This lower hole is an inch and a quarter square and that gives just clearance for anything you put down through this one. Um, I made the original ones had a great big square hole in it and I thought that might uh, you might want to drive something down through here and then drive a wedge through it to hold it in place and make it more solid. Some things that you're striking, I don't know. I just got done beveling all the way around the bottom side of the, your top plate so that there's uh, a little groove in there to, to put my first bead of weld in. Now I'm going to line this up so it's clear in that bottom hole and straight and even up here and covering up the holes that go down into the tube. Again, my maker's mark was on the side, the top side, or the side that I think would be the best for the top side. Now I'm going to put some big clamps on here to hold it so that it doesn't twist on me when I tack it down. And I'll tack all four corners, and then I'm going to go to town welding all the way around it. I'm going to have to back you up because I don't want that bright flash right, right in my camera lens. Okay, right there is the final shot. What I did was I tacked it down on the four corners, then I went all the way around it and welded it in that groove that I ground in the top plate, the bottom of the top plate. And after I did that, I went back around it and uh, kind of covered up, went from the, the bottom plate to the top plate over the top of that first weld. So that's what I did. That's how I did it. I don't know if that's the proper way of doing it. I'm not a welder. I just pretend to be one on YouTube. Have a great day. If you think I should make up a bunch of these and make them different heights, that one there has 18 inch legs and the top plate is 21 inches from the floor. For me, I think that's a little low. Um, I was going to make a couple that high and a couple at an inch and then a couple at another inch and then you could pick out the height that you think is right for you if you think this is something that I could sell at these uh, blacksmithing get-togethers let me know thanks for watching